As one of the largest MMOs on the market, we are going to be diving into Terra Fate of Rune to see if it is pay to win. So taking a look at the cash shop in Terra Online, uh, I believe you go here, um, there's a lot of things that you can actually buy throughout the game. Um, they break it up, stuff your character, mounts and pets, cosmetics, consumables, um, they have like these boxes that can give you certain different things for, I mean like each one obviously and there's like also a possibility of giving you a mount um, and then you have like transfers uh, possibility of buying level 60 which is a hefty you know it's, it's a good amount um, more character slots and stuff like that they also have uh, you can still pay for this game although it's free to play like all free to play games you still have the ability to pay a subscription each month and they give you your bonuses like a mount uh, some other things I forget I haven't subscribed in a while but they give you things you can still do it they have the same system of like EVE Online where you can actually end up not paying anything but still being subscribed so if you make enough gold you can buy one of the vouchers or the um, the items in game and that will give you time to be a subscriber so you can do that as well um, but bringing up the question for pay to win, is this game pay to win? A lot of people argue this one's one of the highly questionable ones because this is the one that a lot of people play and a lot of people do complain about. So if you look at it like that, um, personally, I don't believe this game is pay to win. Now, when you have an item like you do, such as you can sell it for gold and then you're able to buy the gear, um, you are able to buy gear on the auction house that drops from certain dungeons except they are a lot of gold and you can't buy all of it so it, it's possible to get some of it but there's still you have to work for some and they are a hefty amount like they're a lot of gold so it is possible to pay to get a uh, to get progress quicker to other than other people um, you know so like you can get the gear quicker if you have a lot of money and you just spend it all but it's not likely that you're gonna do that you know I mean some people might do that obviously there's the, the few but it's really not pay to win you know some people argue but at the end game if you really choose to you know you can do the dungeons and the stuff and the PvP and you will get the gear but you're just not gonna be some people might be ahead of you just because they have more gold. Uh, so that's how it adds up at end game at level 65. So if you guys are choosing to dive, dive into this game, let just make sure you know that um, that it is possible to buy gear on the auction house for a hefty amount of gold. Um, but is it pay to win? I don't think so. Some people do. There's different definitions of pay to win. But yeah, so you can see what's in these the store I mean you can check online the website and there's a couple of things reputation boost there's XP boost there's mounts there's cosmetics there's you know outfits and stuff like that but there's not too much more than that so I hope you guys enjoyed it let me know if you guys think this game is pay to win and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one